So, before we crack on with the second half, uh, I do need to talk to you about uh, Maxine. Uh, because... No, it's not you, right? It basically, okay, let's, let's give me a cheer if you've seen me perform live. Uh, Community, we need euphemisms, okay? Because people are frightened. People are frightened of what we have to say. So we need euphemisms. Now there are a few euphemisms, and I'm sure you can help me out here. But friends of Dorothy is one of them. Oh, yeah. Euphemisms for being gay, for being lesbian. I've had friends of Dorothy. I've had on the other bus. <laughs> right? I've had bats for the other team. I've heard up north. I've been up north. I've scoured the country up north. They say she looks the other side at stump. <laughs> I think she might leave the other side of the stamp. <laughs> Which, frankly, down here in London, we don't understand, because our stamps are already made sticky. Because <laughs> we're a bit more sophisticated down here. <laughs> but I've been trying to find a proper euphemism for being a lesbian, and I haven't been able to find one, so I've made one up. Oh. Now, it is your job from this day on to always use this euphemism, and Maxine has reminded me of this, because <laughs> I've got a friend, I've got a cousin, called Maxine, okay? My cousin is a, a couple of years younger than me, and when we were growing up, um, I always thought she might be gay. I always suspected that Maxine might be an <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's one of the other ones. <laughs> uh, so I always suspected that Maxine might be a lesbian. We were growing up, and I always thought, you know, I, I always used to give Maxine my hand-me-down clothes, and it was a big test when I grew out of my pink ballet cardigan. <laughs> I finally grew out of my pink ballet cardigan and I was like, yes, I can finally give it to Maxine. I gave it to Maxine. Maxine was like, what the fuck am I going to do with that? <laughs> Maxine was four at the time. She was like, I was thinking, okay, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've got the full measure of Maxine. I finally found out uh, when I uh, discovered Maxine fist fucking under Brighton Pier. Um, <laughs> I Situation. I'm the older cousin, a few years older than Maxine. I'm the one in the family who's got to take responsibility. Okay? I'm the one who's got to be the role model here. I've got to be the one who carves the path here in the family. I've got to pave the way. I have got to be the pioneer in this family. I've got to lead us both to, to tell the family. I've got to, I've got to be the one who takes the leads here. So, yes, you've guessed what I did. I waited for Maxine to come out. <laughs> I waited for Maxine to come out and then I thought as soon as she comes out, immediately afterwards I'm going to come out. <laughs> so I waited for Maxine to come out and when the family didn't kill her, I decided I'm going to come out immediately afterwards. Eight years later, I, um, I said to my mum, I said to my mum, mum, I said, this is a long time ago. I was, I was embarrassed, I was ashamed and I couldn't say the word lesbian. I couldn't say the word gay, I couldn't say homosexual, it was all too embarrassing. So I said, Mum, I've got something to tell you. I was thinking, I don't know what the euphemisms to use in this situation. So I said, Mum, I think I might be a bit like Maxine. <laughs> <laughs> Which freaked her out a little bit because Maxine was also a heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever, seriously, a bit like Maxine, I want to hear, I want to hear, one day I want to hear that come back to me and then I know my work here is done. <laughs> I'm not telling you not to use the words lesbian. Use the word lesbian. <laughs> use the word gay. Use the word homo. Use the word queer. Use whatever words you like, but please do also say I'm a bit like Maxine. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> 
gentlemen, girls and boys too, please, we're on to Act 2. We've got lots more awards to give out this afternoon. We're very excited about the photographer with the funny thing on top of a character. It's all very, look at the, the little the camera thing, what is that? It's like a little cape, it's like a little Halloween cape for the camera. This is exciting. It's not funny, it's just exciting. For me anyway, just me. Uh, so, are you ready for your next set of awards? We're going into the arts and culture section. We've got Kathy coming up, who is the director of Out in Brighton. Will you please give her an enormous round of applause? Cheesy triangles. I'm glad to see that Mom had a heart seizure as a result. I hope you'll have a chance to have a shot at the bar. Um, before I start uh, dishing out these awards, which I'm so happy to be invited to do, I just want to say serious props to Katie and Naomi for organising all of this. And also for really looking at grassroots and community organisations that so often get completely ignored and sidelined. So serious props to you lot. I'm in a suit today and will be using my best Radio 4 voice. <laughs> Give us a pause. There's a special honourable mention, you just heard from her, for Ingo. <laughs> So bless her, I only got the award, but there we go. <laughs> um, basically, the reason I put our faces out there to the world is that when I grew up, I felt there were no role models and that um, I had no one to look up to. So I thought, why not put our faces out there to show that you can be feminine, you can be gay, and you can be happy and married too. So, <laughs> the author of the year established the special honourable mention goes to Kiki Archer. My friend Clay Lydon is also a great author and deserves applause. So, the festival of the year. Oh. The special honourable mention goes to the whatever DIY. <laughs> Oh, 
the Rainbow Film Festival and lots of, lots of different people bring things to Elfest. Um, so I'm picking up this award really on behalf of them. And thank you for Telefilms that came all the way from America this year, from Cat Holmes is here, from Australia. And we have so many different people at the festival. Um, but it was great that everyone supports the films as well. because it makes it look a little bit like I'm reporting from the Hollywood Hills and not indeed from quite a lonely hotel somewhere in Manchester. Um, thank you so very much for voting for me. I'm chuffed to bits, comedian of the year, brilliant. Uh, and massive thanks to everybody at Ultimate Planet Awards. I hope you have a marvellous evening. Sorry I can't be there, but uh, yeah, these lonely hotel rooms don't occupy themselves, my friends, such is the glamour of comedy. Take care, have fun. Tonight. That'll be the comedy event of the year. There's a special on the Going to Laughing Cows, now known as My Comedy. <laughs> but the winner is the Short and Girly yeah! Show. Thank you very much. Uh, we've just done our UK tour, sell out. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you to everybody that came and supported us and that um, had us. So to speak, obviously, not literally. And thank you for everybody that voted for us. Coming on to LBQ Theatre of the Year, a special honourable mention that will be allowed protection to this to a trouser wearing character. Um, it's a, a huge honour to be here today um, and I just wanted to thank everyone uh, who came to see the play. Um, our writer Ben Ockren who had the imagination to write a story that I don't think gets told very often um, and our producer Vicky Graham who had the courage to put it on. Thank you, thank you all so much. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to Katie and to Naomi um, for the massive support that Planet London gave to us to the show and to the LBQ community who came out to see it. Um, thank you so much. as I am black, in case you didn't realise. <laughs> so, I will start and kick off because... I, I, no, that's not funny, it's serious. I came out. Oh, right. <laughs> so 
that everyone's a winner here, but the award goes to Pride. Hey everyone, uh, my name's Uli and I work at Gaze Word. I'm back again and slightly drunk. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, it's, it's my real pleasure to pick this um, award up on behalf of BBC and Pathé Film. Um, I don't know if you've seen Pride or not. It, it, it's an amazing film that, that my bookshop is, is privileged to be a, a part of. Um, and, and, and the central kind of ethic of it about solidarity and about us reaching out to each other is, is, is a very eternal theme. And I'd like to dedicate the awarding of this, uh, this award to, uh, to the memory of Mark Ashton. Thank you very much. So thank you for everyone for voting, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm sure she'll be very thrilled. I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> Mainstream lesbian, in the moment, storyline. So whoever wins is going to come up, and we're going to reenact that moment. <laughs> they bloody better be here. Right, so it goes to... Piper and Alex. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think you did this to me on purpose because you know that I needed those kisses and hugs. Right, well, they're not here, so I'll take it on behalf of them if you can pay my flight over to the States. So I can give it to the next award goes to Photographer of the Year. And a special mention goes out to all of them, because they're fucking here. <laughs> and the winner is Rosie Cowell. Freelance. Thank you for the nomination and thank you to everyone that voted for me for the Ultimate Planet London Award Photographer of the Year. Um, I've had such a great year so far working with so many LGBTQ artists, musicians, venues, festivals theatre companies, uh, all sorts, um, so I'm, I'm really proud to have won and thank you so much and I look forward to next year. Radio show of the year and a special mention goes out to no one. <laughs> <laughs> but the winner, and you'd best be here whilst you all get up on stage for this year, <laughs> is My Lesbian Radio. <laughs> guys so much. I just want to say, Planet London, you have been so supportive to us since the beginning, since I got here, since I got to England four years ago. So I just want to say thank you. And of course to uh, Sadie, Outfest has been so 
welcoming to us too. And I, and I guess I have to thank my co-host and my producer. So thank you to Donna and to Vicky and to all our listeners. You guys are great podcast listeners. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. And to my lovely wife too. And my mom. Oh my God. And my mom. Okay. <laughs> Back up again. <laughs> Jackets was good, but you mind the hair next time. <laughs> Best series of the year. And the winner is Nikki and Nora. Uh, hey guys, this is Kristen Baker of Telefilms.com. And on behalf of the production team and the co producers and co stars, um, Liz Vassy and Christina Cox, and co producers Nancy Lee Myatt and Paige Bernhardt. And on behalf of Telefilms, we just want to give a heartfelt thank you, thank you, thank you for winning Best Lesbian Web Series for Nikki and Nora. And look out for uh, additional thank yous from Nancy Lee, Paige, and Liz, and Christina. But just wanted to send you a big mwah and thank you so much. Yeah.